Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some more leaks surrounding AMD's upcoming Zen 3 based processors for the desktop. More specifically, these leaks pertain to the alleged Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core 24 thread processor that have come from some popular CPU synthetic benchmarks. Yesterday, I posted a video with some leaks surrounding the Ryzen 7 5800X along with some specs and release dates pertaining to these upcoming CPUs. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below, so I highly recommend checking it out. So for the content of this video, let's just jump right into our first leak. And this one comes from the popular Chinese forum Tiaba Baidu, where a user has posted a screenshot of what is allegedly a Ryzen 9 5900X. And in this screenshot, you guys can see a result from the popular CPU-Z utility program. Obviously, get your salt shakers out and all that. And also, just as a note, this CPU has a OPN listed on the bottom. And what's interesting is that if you guys remember, Igor had listed some OPNs a while back of a 16 core part. But as it turns out, this OPN is actually for a 12 core part and not a 16 core part, which means that this 12 core engineering sample boosts to 4.9 gigahertz. That's a difference of 300 megahertz from the 3900X, which isn't too far from that 5 gigahertz mark and does line up with that report we saw from WCCF Tech. CPU-Z has a built-in benchmark that can quickly run a test and give you information based on how fast your processor is in regards to single core and multi-core performance. Here we can see the user has ran both tests and is comparing it to the in-house results of the 3700X. So for the single core score, the 5900X scores a whopping 652.8, whereas the 3700 only gets a score of 511. That's a difference of around 28%, which is just absolutely massive for single core performance. For the multi-core score, the difference is also quite drastic. I mean, we're looking at a 74% increase there, but I mean, that's a given and shouldn't really come as a surprise because we're comparing a 12 core 24 thread processor versus an 8 core 16 thread processor. So the higher core CPU is obviously going to win here as it's more advantageous and is going to perform better due to better per computing performance thanks to those extra threads. But if we do a more apples to apples comparison, I ran the CPU-Z benchmark on my 3900X and my 3900X isn't even overclocked or anything. In fact, it's running pretty much bone stock as I have PBO and auto OC disabled as I just found I didn't need them and preferred a quieter and cooler system. Anyways, my 3900X scores 537.4. When we compare that single core score to the 5900X, we're looking at a difference of around 22%, which is still very significant. If this leak is legitimate, then it really bodes well for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 5000 series CPUs based on Zen 3, as it looks like like they have actually improved single core performance by another huge leap from Zen 2 and this was the main area they needed to focus on so I'm glad to see that. They already had multi-core performance pretty much locked in since Zen 1 but they still improved that as well of course. Zen already had better SMT than Intel and with Zen 2 and Zen 3 they kept on improving that. So when we compare my 3900X to the 5900X that's a difference of around 13% for the multi-core score which definitely isn't bad gen on gen when comparing the CPUs with the same core counts. But like I had mentioned in the previous video for AMD to be dominant in the market they need to improve the single core performance through IPC gains and improve their clock speeds. Where it's rumored they have strived to improve IPC by 20% and clock speeds should also increase by a considerable margin thanks to process tweaks. We are hearing that they could produce some parts which could hit that big 5 GHz mark. But speaking of 5 GHz, what about Intel and how this part compares to the competition? Well, if you just go to CPU-Z's website where you can find results posted from various systems, a 10900K at 5.3 GHz boost scores a single core score of around 643. So the Ryzen 9 5900X is still ahead here but not by a huge margin but keep in mind just how much that 10900k consumes at 5.3 gigahertz it's like having another flagship gpu in your system like i said though amd already had impressive multi-core score but single core performance was still an area they needed to improve on if they truly wanted to put intel into the ground they already have efficiency covered as well zen 2's single core performance wasn't even that bad in fact it's not that much behind current intel parts so if they can make these kinds of leaps that we're seeing from this leak 
for Zen 3, then that'll be faster in pretty much every aspect of computing. So I'm getting really excited for these new processors and absolutely can't wait to see them on the 8th. Now moving on to our second leak slash rumor and this one comes from a website called CPU Monkey where they post scores from the popular Cinebench R20 benchmark. Now as a disclaimer what I'll say is that take these posts with a grain of salt for sure as this is one of those generic database websites like GPU Boss where they essentially grab results from popular reviewers and consolidate the results here. So they aren't actually their own benchmarks so it could even be that these guys are just doing some guesswork here so it's fair to be skeptical. With that said though it was intriguing so I thought I'd share it anyways. Here they've actually gone ahead and listed Ryzen 5000 parts with some clock speeds and core counts. So starting from the top we've got a Ryzen 9 5950X which is a 16 core part which with a base of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost of 4.9 gigahertz with a score of 619 and these are single core scores that's about a hundred points faster than my stock 3900x then we see them list the ryzen 9 5900x a 12 core part with a base of 3.8 and a boost of 4.8 gigahertz so these specs they've listed do conflict with the rumors and leaks from my previous video where it was reported that the 5900X would have a 5 GHz clock speed boost, and the CPU-Z benchmark we just looked at as well. In addition, when we compare the single core score of the 5900X that they've listed here at 606 and compare that to my 3900X, which scores about 520, then we're looking at a result that is approximately, I believe, 16, 17% faster. So, I mean, not as fast as the result that we saw from the CPU-Z uh, benchmark, but, I mean, it's still an improvement if these if these posts are anything to go by that is they've also got a 5600x which is a six core part listed but no 5700x so that's kind of interesting now i'll leave a link down below to where you guys can check this page out i'm fairly certain though that these guys are most likely just estimating performance based on the rumors and leaks we've seen i wouldn't pay too much heed to these results so those were the leaks i wanted to go over with you guys in this video. It'll be interesting to see how this release plays out once the parts are announced on the 8th of October because this time around AMD are actually being quite tight-lipped when they're usually quite vocal around releases. One of the biggest concerns will be if they can decrease latency and increase Infinity Fabric speeds to at least 2500 MHz without having to go to a 1 to 2 ratio. Only then will I be confident that yes, AMD now will dominate in gaming performance because clock speeds and IPC aren't everything. I hope you guys found this video to be informative and helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out the video description on ways to support the channel and for my other videos. If you guys are interested in more content like this, then make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.